सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अनिल महाजन फ्रॉम इंस्पायरिंग माइंड टूडे वी आर गोना डिस्कस अबाउट ईसोफेगस द ईसोफेगस पार्ट्स द ईसोफेगस हाउ द पार्ट्स एंड द मसल्स आर बींग देयर इन द ईसोफेगस एंड ब्लड सप्लाई एंड द वीनस ड्रेनेज सो लेट एस बिगिन सो ईसोफेगस एज वी नो इट इज अ ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग ट्यूब लॉन्ग ट्यूब सो इफ वी गो and make a rough diagram to know the divisions but not to make a point of view esophagus has three parts upper one third middle one third and lower one third students upper one third is known as the cervical part middle one third is known as the thoracic part and the lower one third is known as the abdominal part abdominal part Three parts of esophagus, twenty-five centimeter long tube. About the muscles arrangement in the cervical part, we have striated muscles. Striated muscles, and in the thoracic part, we have both striated as well as smooth muscles. And in the abdominal part, we only have smooth muscles. smooth muscles friends this is a basic very basic anatomy for the esophagus but now first topic is basic anatomy and now we need to know about the constrictions from where the questions are you know usually asked about the esophagus we have four constrictions in the esophagus four constrictions constrictions in esophagus see according to radiologists and according to the other like uh, ent some says there are three constrictions in the esophagus some says there are five constrictions in the esophagus but we need to follow if we are talking about anatomy we need to follow the gray's anatomy so according to the gray's anatomy latest edition it says we have four constrictions in the esophagus constrictions means the narrowing so again we make a diagram friends these constrictions have a landmark like from where it is being made so it is made from the upper incisors upper incisor upper incisor the first constriction is at serin jo esophageal junction Pharyngeo is a phage junction, and it is at the level of from upper incisor. The distance is fifteen centimeter at the level of C six vertebra. The second constriction we see at the level of arc of aorta, arc of aorta, aorta, and it is twenty three centimeters from the upper incisors, and at the level of t4 vertebra third is that at the level of left bronchus left bronchus it is 28 cm at the level of t6 vertebra and fourth is the esophageal hiatus where it enters the diaphragm it is 40 cm exactly so these are the four constrictions in esophagus we have the narrowest part which is the first part at the level of cricopharyngeus see why i told you about the constrictions in the esophagus because it has a clinical relevance when a gastroenterologist goes to do the endoscopy for a patient he has to put the endoscope very carefully because in the esophagus the at the level of upper esophageal sphincter here it, here it is at the level of upper esophageal sphincter the esophagus lumen is 
the thinnest the thinnest esophageal lumen so whenever a gastroenterologist has to do the endoscopy he has to be very careful while putting the endoscope because he must be well trained to do the endoscopy unless uh, after if if he if he is not uh, trained then the tear can happen at the level of esophagus tear and injury can happen so four constrictions in esophagus so another another question the teachers or the examiner asks about the transesophageal uh, echocardiography transesophageal echocardiography which is the first thing we see when we do the transesophageal cardiography uh, the probe when it is entered for the heart the first thing we visualize is the left atrium first thing first thing we visualize Visualize the left atrium. Atrium. Now let's talk about the blood supply. Blood supply of the esophagus. Blood supply. See, we know three parts of esophagus are there. So blood supply is also divided like that only. This is cervical, this is thoracic, and this is abdominal part of the esophagus. If we talk about the blood supply of the cervical part of the esophagus, it is being inferior. By inferior thyroid artery. If we talk about the thoracic part of the esophagus, who is supplying the blood? It is through thoracic abdominal aorta. Thoracic abdominal aorta, which is by direct branches and to the indirect branches. If we talk about the indirect branches, it is the bronchial artery. bronchial artery now if we talk about the abdominal part of the esophagus it is being by left gastric artery gastric artery this is the blood supply of the esophagus now if we need to know about the venous drainage venous drainage it is also again very simple like the blood supply only if we talk about the cervical part cervical part of the esophagus it is by inferior thyroid vein inferior thyroid vein which is draining into the right and left brachiocephalic vein brachiocephalic cephalic vein and goes to the superior vena cava. Now about the thoracic part. Thoracic part. We need to know right side of the thoracic part and left side of the thoracic part. Left side. Right side of the thoracic part is by a zygous vein. A zygous vein, which goes to the superior vena cava left side is by hemizygous zygous and accessory a zygous a zygous vein which again drains to superior vena cava now last part which is the abdominal part abdominal part the venous drainage is again left gastric vein left gastric vein left gastric vein follows the portal circulation left gastric vein goes to the portal vein liver from liver hepatic veins hepatic vein and inferior vena cava inferior vena cava so this is about the esophagus let us revise again i told you about the esophagus it is a 25 centimeter long tube 
three parts are being divided cervical part thoracic part abdominal part cervical part has only striated muscles thoracic part has the mixture of both striated as well as smooth muscles and the abdominal part has only smooth muscles then we need to know about clinical relevance which has uh, constrictions of the esophagus there are four constrictions according to the latest edition of gray's anatomy four constrictions of the esophagus first at the level of uh, pharyngeal esophageal junction which is 15 cm from where it is being made from the level of upper incisors from upper incisors the first uh, constriction is the, at the level of uh, pharyngeal esophageal junction 15 cm or c6 level the second constriction the arc of the aorta which is constricting the esophagus it is at the level of t4 and uh, it the sent how many cm it is 23 cm third third constriction at the level of t6 which is due to the left mid bronchus uh, it is 28 cm and the fourth is esophageal hiatus okay which is 40 cm from the upper incisors when the distress is being measured i told you the clinical relevance that uh, whenever the gastroenterologist has to do the endoscopy he needs to be very careful and very trained since if any any of the miss happening can cause to the tear in the esophagus tear in the esophagus so he must be very trained when putting the endoscope then we got to know about the blood supply of the esophagus blood supply cervical part only inferior thyroid artery if we talk about thoracic part thoracic part from that th abdominal thoracic aorta direct branches and indirect branches indirect bronchial artery then we uh, abdominal part left gastric vein uh, left gastric artery sorry then we talk about the venous drainage the venous drainage is also firstly cervical part inferior thyroid vein the thoracic part thoracic part if we talk about right side it is azygous vein draining to the uh, superior vena cava if we are talking about the left side it is accessory azygous hemi azygous draining to the superior vena cava now if we talk about the abdominal part venous drainage it is the left gastric vein left gastric vein goes follows the portal circulation and drains into the inferior vena cava keep revising keep studying best of luck inspiring minds